Davis and welcome to the channel of Davis Does. I got a request to show some hairstyles with scrunchies, so here are multiple ways to style a scrunchie. So I thought I would show you my scrunchies and tell you where I got them. So I got these two blue scrunchies in a pack from Amazon. This red one which came with this black one and they're from Forever 21. And also this black and white striped scrunchie is from Forever 21. I also thought for this video it would be fun to create a wild texture with my hair so the night before I put my hair into 12 braids, all sections were fairly equal and I braided all the way to the end of my hair so it wouldn't be straight at the end and this is completely optional. So I just undid them and now I look like Hermione. <laughs> to start we have these braided half up ponytails. Create a middle part and clip one side away as we work with the other side. Take a section right at the front and separate it into three and begin to French braid. So, as you put the outer strands over the middle, add in hair to both sides. Put one section over the center and add in hair to the center. And put the other section over the center and add in hair to the center. I stopped adding in hair once I got to about my temple and then I just took my blue scrunchie and wrapped it around a few times. If you want, you can add a regular hair tie beforehand. Then I just did the same kind of braid on the other side and again secured with a scrunchie. And there you have it. Next we have a twist into a side half up hairstyle. Begin with the side part and then take a section right at this part. Divide this into two. So then just take the front strand, the one closest to your forehead, over the back strand. And then start taking small pieces of hair and add it to the new front strand and put them over the back strand. Again, take a strand from the front and add it to the front strand and put this over the back piece. And I stopped adding in hair right before I added in the hair above my ear. Finish twisting to the end so it will be easier to secure with a hair tie or a scrunchie. And I just added my red scrunchie with a bow and ta-da! And now we have a simple but cute high ponytail. Take the top front section and then tease it by combing it downwards. This will give it more volume and yes I want more volume even with my huge hair I have right now. <laughs> then twist this hair and push it forward to create a little bump. Take two bobby pins and secure the hair by making them into an X. Then I like to have my scrunchie already on my wrist as I brush my hair into a ponytail and smooth out all of the bumps. Then wrap your scrunchie around the hair a few times and there you go! This next style is a voluminous side French braid. Start with the side part and grab a larger section of hair at the front, separate it into three equal parts, and we are going to French braid our hair. So take the side pieces and cross them over the middle, cross one strand over the middle and add in a strand of hair to the middle. And then cross the other strand over the middle and add in a section. Then once you get to your ear, start adding in hair from the other side of your head. So smooth the section over and into the braid. Once you have incorporated all of your hair into the braid, just finish braiding until the end of your hair and then take a scrunchie to secure the braid. And voila! I like to call this hairstyle the Heather's Ponytail. So just like the twist half up, you will have two sections putting the front one over the back section, as well as adding hair to the front section each time. And the sections that I added in got bigger and bigger as the twist continued. And I wasn't quite in the middle of my head when I stopped adding in hair because I wanted it to be a side ponytail, and then I just kept twisting and took a clip to hold it in place as I twisted the other side. So take the bottom strand and put it over the top strand, and add in hair to the bottom section each time as well. Add in all of your remaining hair into the second twist. Take out the clip and then take the two sections and I actually twisted them a bit more to make them tighter and then add your scrunchie. I probably could have used a few bobby pins to make it look cleaner but still it's a very cute tie ponytail. Now we have an easy top knot. This one is really low effort but I gathered all of the hair to the top of my head and then I took out a few baby hairs by my ears. Then I held the base of my hair with one hand as the other wrapped the hair around itself. As you can see, I just wrapped it into a bun and then took the scrunchie and wrapped it around twice which seemed to be secure enough. And I fixed it a little bit, but there you have it. And finally, here is a braided half up hairstyle. 
take a section of hair right at the front and divide it into three other sections. This is a Dutch braid, so cross the outer strands under the middle. And then take sections from the front to add into the braid. So put the section under the middle, add in hair, and put the other section under the middle and add in hair. Continue to the crown of your head. And I stop to just gently pull on the sides of the braid to make it look bigger and more noticeable. Then I took my blue scrunchie and secured it. And I just put the hair onto one side since it looked better. And that's the last hairstyle. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, make sure to give it a big ol' thumbs up. Also make sure to hit that subscribe button and comment down below. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. And bye!